bill will improve safety and help responders to provide critical care in emergency situations. A new bill will improve safety and help responders provide critical care in emergency situations. And the man who introduced it is here to tell us more. Hi, Representative Pete Lucido. How are you, Kelly? Good, how are you? Good, real good. So tell us about this new bill. All right. The bill is not a bill anymore. It's actually law. Wow. Public Act 4 and 5. It deals with a driver's license and a personal identification card that you get from the Secretary of State. Today, individuals have the opportunity, because it is optional, to go online, be able to put their emergency contact individual who they want when they are in time of need. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are um, not physically able to respond. Maybe they're confused. And their phone number right online putting the information right attached with their driver's license number so that first responders will have the opportunity of contacting right from the scene when they get the driver's license or from any area where they find an individual with a personal identification card, those individuals that myself or you put as the emergency contact person and their phone number. It's a great way for us to go ahead and get emergency help when we need it at the time of need. Okay, so, so the information is on their card, their driver's license, their IDs. Is it <clears throat> read by a certain machine? You know what it is? It's private. You go online, and because your driver's license number is in from the Secretary of State website, police officers have access to the Secretary of State website as it relates to whether or not your license is valid, whether or not you have points on your record. So it's just the police and the Secretary of State will have that information. It won't be disseminated to anyone else. It'll be kept confidential and mm -hmm. private. And it will be online so that when, at the scene or whenever they have that driver's license, they don't need to flip it over because if the reader's not working, they just teletype in their computers in their cars. First responders can teletype, find out who you are, find out who your emergency contact person is, and get a hold of them immediately and say, we have an emergency, we're taking this individual to the hospital, meet your loved one there at the hospital, and guess what? That responder then can get back to what they're doing, save the taxpayers money, yeah. time. And most we love that. Yeah, well, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. And most importantly, when they get to the hospital, the person that's in care of your treatment can go ahead and give direction to the individuals at the hospital to immediately start working on you. Wow. Yeah. So we'll, it really will save lives. You know, it, it will save lives because the timing is critical. Yeah. We have a duty and obligation under what's called the Good Samaritan Rule to stabilize people, to get them in mm -hmm. a position, but to immediately effectuate treatment, we need to get some direction from somebody. Right. So state law says, look, we want to go ahead and make it as quick as possible, the response time, and to get the individual the care and treatment that they need. Police at the scene or if somebody has got Alzheimer's or dementia can reach in their pocket, get the identification card if they're not driving, go ahead and call their loved one and reunite them with their loved one. So this bill, it's right now just on driver's license. Are you hoping to, ex or the law now, are you hoping to expand it? Well, let me tell you this. It's not only on the driver's license, but it's also on the state ID card. So if you don't drive, let's say you have a son or a daughter who's not driving, and you get a state ID card, that card will have an identification number. That number will then get, be able to give you access to have the emergency contact. Go online, put down mom or dad, and give a cell phone number. And we can still help those, or if you have a father or mother who's older, get an emergency contact ID card and go online and put yourself down just in case mom or dad don't realize or are confused then the person can go ahead, reunite the one with the loved one for the emergency contact and take care of their loved one. Absolutely. So the ID as well as the driver's license, there was two bills and they are now law, which is Public Act 4 and 5. Wow. So when will these be implemented? 2017. It takes some time with the government to go ahead, get the computer up to date, make the website and be able to access the information so that everybody doesn't even have to leave their house when they renew their driver's license. That doesn't count because right. they'll be able to do it in 2017 right from their own computer wow. at their own home. Wow. Probably on an iPhone for yeah. <laughs> So you're the mastermind behind all of this. Well, I'm a master of nothing, but I'm a mind <laughs> of the bill, and I'm happy that I did so. That's amazing. You know what? I, I do believe that this should be a state-by-state -state initiative. The federal government doesn't control licenses, but the federal government 
will go ahead and look to this as an initiative and probably want to encourage every state. Absolutely. Because it'll take away the guesswork. We don't have to send a police car over to the house to wait for a loved one to come home. Right. They can immediately make contact with them and get them to who they need to serve, which is the, the assistance of the individual that needs your help. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. I'd love it. All right. We'll see you soon, right? You got it. <laughs> Talk to you soon.